Now we're going to talk about buying and selling, getting that bag, commerce, stonks, all those things. And a merchant said, speak to us of buying and selling. And he answered and said, to your earth yields her fruit, and you shall not want if you but know how to fill your hands. It is in exchanging the gifts of the earth that you shall find abundance and be satisfied. Yet unless the exchange be in love and kindly justice, it will not but lead somewhere to greed and others to hunger. When in the market, place your toilers of the sea and fields and vineyards. Meet the weavers and the potters and the gatherers of spices. Invoke then the master spirit of the earth to come into your midst and sanctify the scales and the reckoning that weighs value against value. And suffer not the barren handed to take part in your transactions, who would sell their worlds for your labor. To such men you should say, come with us to the field or go out with our brothers to the sea and cast your net. For the land and the sea shall be bountiful to you as to us. And if there comes the singers and the dancers and the flute players, buy of their gifts also, for they too are gatherers of fruit and frankincense. And that which they bring, though fashioned of dreams, is raiment and food of your soul. And before you leave the marketplace, see that no one has gotten on the way to make or gone his way with empty hands. For the master spirit of the earth shall not be slept peacefully upon the wind till the needs of at least of you are satisfied. So that's another biblical reference there. In the gospel of Matthew, I believe it is, Jesus is talking to his people and his disciples, not just his people, his disciples. And he says, gracious are you because when I was hungry, you gave me food to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was naked, you gave me clothes. And when I was tired, you gave me rest. And then the apostles say, wait, Jesus, we didn't do any of that for you. He said, nay, whatever you so do for my lowliest child or whatever you do for the least of me, you do also for me. And so I think Gilbron's alluding to that in here. For the master spirit of the earth shall not sleep peacefully upon the wind till the needs of the least of you are satisfied. That's an analogy to that passage in the Gospel of Matthew, in my opinion. So buying and selling. Don't buy and sell just to get a bag. Buy and sell and do things for people so that you have a purpose or you do it with the intent of helping somebody sell your things in such a way that it nurtures them it feeds them it feeds their soul it feeds their body it does something and aim your work and your buying and your selling and all your business towards that goal and make sure that even if sometimes people don't have any money like make sure that nobody leaves the market empty-handed that's what he's saying so if you can give to somebody without losing out or if you see somebody has nothing and you are within your will to gay or to give i should say um then do that go and give them make sure that nobody leaves with empty hands be charitable in your business i guess is what he's trying to say there
Now, a big one. Crime and...